Ladies and gentlemen, if I was going to show you how to reflect the x-axis, there's a couple things I want you guys to know. First of all, you know, we have here the x-axis, and what we're trying to do is reflect this line, line segment, over the x-axis, okay? So a lot of times you guys can just think of that as like kind of taking this and like a page, you know? You're flipping it over the page, and how would you redraw this? Now, when you're dealing with it and you're sketching a figure, sometimes it's kind of easy. You can just kind of, you know, sketch it in there. But when you're dealing with coordinate points, it sometimes becomes a little bit more difficult. So there's a process for what I want you to understand is when we have coordinate points that we reflect over the y-axis. You guys are going to want to write this down. When we have coordinate points that we reflect over the y-axis, guys, if I have a coordinate here, uh, x-axis, I'm sorry, and now my coordinate is down here, right? If I take this and I reflect it down here, which, what is now changed with the sign of what are my coordinates? W yeah, which coordinate though, the x or the y? When it's down here, when it's below the y-axis? It's, it's negative, right? So it's the opposite sign. So if I have, if I reflect the y-axis, the only thing that changes is now my y coordinate is now going to be the opposite sign. Same thing, if I had something negative and I've reflected over the y axis, it's now going to be positive. So what I'm going to do is let's write out our points. So my point A is negative 4, comma negative or negative 4, 1. And my point B is negative 2, comma 6. So if I want to apply the transformations of um, if I want to apply my transformations of reflecting over the x-axis, all I have to do now is make what negative, Dominic? The, the, one. the y, right? Just make the y coordinate the opposite sign. So therefore, it's a prime is negative 4, comma, negative 1. Here, this is um, b prime, which is negative 2, comma, negative 6. Now you might look at me and say, why are, you, why are you labeling them A prime and B prime? Guys, remember when we did uh, distance formula and we said x1 and x2, right? We had to distinguish between the x's. They both represented the x's, but they were, um, they were different forms of them. Well, these are, point, these are the same points, but the A prime and the B prime represent the transformations of them. So let's go and graph them now, and I'll graph them in a different color. So now I'm at negative 4, 1. So negative 4 down negative 1. And then I'm at negative 2, negative 6. So do you guys see how that looks like it's a reflection over the x-axis? See how the x-axis is what mirrors below and above? Yes. Because look at it. As I'm taking this point, right, as I'm taking these points and I reflect over the x-axis, right, now the y-coordinates are what becomes negative, OK? So yes, just rem if you can remember reflect x-axis, if you can remember this, that will help you out. And just think of it. Think of like this as like a mirror. These are mirrored images of each other, OK? So now that you guys got that one, you guys want to try the y-axis?